Hi, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalen Islands. Today, I will show you how to make cupcake bath fizzies. <clears throat> I've been trying to make those for quite a while, and they kind of looked like this, which isn't so bad, but I couldn't get the icing to stick up on the, on the cupcake. It kept, like, falling down. So, after writing to a few soapers that have been doing them for longer than I have, I found that I was using the wrong tool. So with the exact same ingredients, the exact same recipe, I came up with this today. And I will show you how to make a really nice bath bomb uh, cupcake too. <clears throat> so, Okay, so uh, my recipe will yield about 12 to 15 cupcakes. So I'm adding three cups of uh, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. So three cups of that. Oops. Then I'm adding a cup and a half of citric acid. <clears throat> I'm adding half a cup of uh, cornstarch. And a quarter cup of kale and clay. If you want to make a regular bath bomb, you could leave it at that. But in the cupcakes, I like to add some sodium lauryl sulfur acetate powder. <clears throat> this will make a bubble bath cupcake. So instead of just fizzing, it'll foam too. <clears throat> some people have allergies to this product, so make sure you put it on the label. But if you have no skin re reaction to it, it's perfectly fun. Yeah, especially for the kids. Okay, so that's four tablespoons. <coughs> to this recipe, I will add some cocoa powder uh, to make a chocolate bath fizzy. But you could also use Micah's or Le Bomb bath bomb colorant to color the base of your cupcake. Many people like to use some different tools to mix up this mixture, but I prefer to use my hands. I, this way I get to feel the clumps and if everything's well mixed enough. Uh, but you could also use a bucket, punch a hole through the, the cover and use a drill with a um, paint mixing tool. You could also pass it through a blender or use, I guess, anything, a, a stand mixer. But if you do that, you will have much more powder in the air. So I just mix with my hands and use a lot of elbow grease. <laughs> When you are satisfied with your color, it's time to add the uh, vegetable oil to your mixture. I like to use sweet almond oil, but you could use grape seed oil or jojoba oil. I'm adding at least five or six tablespoons of vegetable oil because I want my uh, the base of my cupcake to be rock hard. I will also be using some uh, fragrance oil in there. And you can see that when I add the oil, it darkens the base of the cupcake. Every powdered colorant will darken up when you wet the mixture. <clears throat> Here I'm using one and a half uh, tablespoon of chocolate fragrance oil. It smells like, it really smells like chocolate. You could just eat it. <clears throat> so there you go, one and a half tablespoons. This will also help to moisturize the, the base of the mixture to make a rock hard bath bomb. And again, I will be mixing that with my hands. I'm done mixing 
my oil in so I kind of have the texture of wet sand. You can see that if I squeeze it, it kind of holds, it won't break. Now comes in the witch hazel. I put it in a spray bottle. So depending on where you live, if it's really humid, you won't need much. But if you live like in the desert, <laughs> maybe you'll need more witch hazel water. This is my Wilton baking cup. I just put a paper liner inside of it and then I just pack it. Press really hard. So, there you go. To make my frosting, I put four tablespoons or five uh, actually of merengue powder, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, and uh, four to five tablespoons of hot water. I will add more water along the way, but I start with less, this way I'm sure I don't put too much in. Then take a hand beater, electric hand beater, and mix it up until you have a light merengue-like uh, texture. This can take several minutes, so be patient. Little by little, add your powdered sugar. In my recipe, I will use just a little over a pound of uh, powdered sugar and Incorporate it slowly, this way you don't have powdered sugar all over the place and you are sure to have a very nice and smooth frosting texture. Okay, so this is the pretty much the perfect texture. You can see that when I pull it up, the, the peaks are kind of sticking up and not falling down. So that tells you that it's time to stop adding sugar and that it's time to put in the fragrance, whip up one last time and then put in the piping bag and pipe.
using a pitcher, I will place my piping bag with my 1M uh, Wilton piping tip in there and just drop in my frosting. I find it easier to do it this way. Okay, using a makeup brush, I make sure that all my cupcakes are well dusted. If there's too much dust, your frosting won't hold. So make sure you dust it. You can just use a paintbrush or something, but a makeup brush works just perfectly for me. Start by twisting your piping bag so no frosting comes up and put a little dollop of uh, icing on the center of each cupcake. By the way, sorry for the head. <laughs> I didn't notice. Anyways, you can kind of see. So a little dollop in the center. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that I am totally addicted to making fizzy bath bomb cupcakes. I made like these last night and this morning. So the base is clementine cupcake with lychee red tea and energy fragrance um, by Bram Brambleberry. And those are uh, cranberry cupcakes, fizzy cupcakes. And the one that I just made for you today are chocolate for the base and the frosting is marshmallow fragrance. I will take them out of the freezer in about 10 minutes. I'm just putting them in there to make sure that they hold up and that they don't collapse. But I don't think they would have, but I'm just making sure. <clears throat> the key, as you could see, I'm using a beater, electric beater. That's, I, I think that's the key to getting a nice, perfect frosting. And do not over put uh, powdered sugar. If you put too much, you will get a mushy frosting. So when you, Add it little by little. Make sure that when you have the right consistency, even though you're tempted to put some more sugar, stop. That's it's it's like telling you to stop. Otherwise, you'll do like me. You'll have to flush it down the toilet because it's good. it's like totally useless. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope you like this video, and I will see you again in a little while. Um, <clears throat> right now, it's melt and pour season for me because in my shop I do have melt and pour and cold processed soaps. I do my cold processed soaps in advance uh, in the winter and in the spring and I do melt and pour as I go. So I won't be posting much videos about cold processed soaps, but I'll try to make a few videos even if it's my really, really, really busy season right now. And uh, I think my next video will be a tour of my shop. So see you then.